Hi friends, Kari Ann here, and we are crafting today here at the house, and I have two amazing helpers with me. I have Wesley and Whitney. They're my twin daughters, and today we are gonna be making these super fun note cards and creating art with things that you have in your kitchen. So all you need for this craft is you're gonna need celery, so go shop your refrigerator <laughs> and find celery. You'll also need paint. We have, you're probably gonna need a white paint. Here's a red paint and a pink paint as well. You'll need a brush. You'll need scrapbook paper that looks like this, that's white on one side. You'll also need a ruler and you'll need a pencil. The first thing you're gonna wanna do is you're going to wanna cut your celery, remove the stalk, until you have the head. This is the head that we're going to be using for to create your roses. So what you wanna do is make sure after it's done, after you've cut it like this, you wanna go ahead and make sure that the celery is as dry as possible. And you also want to go ahead and separate the celery because that will give the paint more opportunity to permeate and it'll make a much cuter flower. So the next thing you're gonna do is you're gonna get your celery and it can also be any size, like the bigger one, the smaller one, or the medium one. And um, basically what you're gonna do is you're gonna take it after doing everything that she just said and you're going to press it down after painting it onto your paper and then kind of get, make sure you get all the sides and then pull it off and it should look like that or if you have more paint, it might look like that. And also we figured out that if you want to, like this one, you can add a little bit of white paint or a different color and kind of make it look more like that so it highlights the different accents of the flower. So the next thing you do is you're gonna go ahead and cut it out like the shape of a flower so you can stick it on your card. It doesn't have to be perfect, but um, now usually you would wait and let it dry a little bit, but for the sake of time, we're just gonna go ahead and show y'all this. So now we're gonna take our scrapbook paper and make sure you have it on the white side. And we are just gonna measure it off. So you're gonna do about four and a half inches from the bottom and then about four and a half inches from the top and just make sure you get it even. And then we're just gonna draw a straight line. straight as you can and then we're just going to cut that out <clears throat> now you're going to take the um, ruler and measure fold over about four inches and then fold it and then cut off the excess and that is your card. The next thing you're gonna do is take mounting tape, which you can find at any local hardware store. You're just gonna cut a piece of tape like that. Now it's sticky on one side, and on the other side has it has um, paper. You wanna peel off the paper like this. You wanna put it on the back of your rose like this. And then we're just gonna simply press it onto the front of the card. And the reason why we're doing this is it just gives the flower a little bit of lift. Now be careful because this one is still a little bit wet. But then after you finish, your card will look like these right here. And now your card is finished. We hope you had fun creating it today. We also wanted to encourage you to share this card and make someone else's day a little bit brighter. Right now, we're going through a lot of challenges and people really want to feel encouraged and they want to feel uplifted. And what better way than to write someone a handwritten note. And Wesley has a few ideas of what you can put inside the note. So basically, I just wrote missing you in this one, and then you can write a whole little note right there or draw a picture or whatever. Um, these are just a few um, things I wrote in calligraphy that you can copy or write your own or do whatever you want. Um, but I just wrote like, do you need anything for our neighbors that maybe can't get out right now that we want to help? Or um, how can I be praying for you? So just simple things that you can encourage. 
We hope you had fun crafting with us today. Thank you so much for joining us. We also wanted to let you know that the twins have written a book. It's called 52 DIY Crafts for Girls, and it is available right now for 40% off. So if you like crafting, that is the book for you. On behalf of Wesley and, and myself, thanks so much for joining us. <laughs>